Today we're going to use integrals in finding the area between curves. By definition, the area of the region bounded by the curve y is equal to f of x and y equal to g of x and the lines x equal to a and x equal to v where f and g are continuous and f of x is greater than g of x for all x in the closed interval a, b, then the formula for finding the areas between the two curves will be the integral of f of x minus g of x dx from a through b. And if we are going to use a graphical display in finding the area between curves, we have here our x, y plane, our function f of x, and the function g of x, and in between them, in the closed interval a and b, we know that we can find the area between these two curves by using this formula. So let's have an example of two functions and let's find out how we use the formula in finding the area of the two functions. So in this example, we need to find the area between the graphs of f of x, which is equal to x squared plus 2, and g of x, which is equal to 1 minus x, between x equals 0 and x equal to 1. So the formula that we will use in finding the area between the two functions will be the formula that I presented on the previous slide. So the first step is to organize the numerical value that we will need to use in using the formula. So we have the value of a which is equal to 0 and the value of b which is equal to 1, the function f of x which is x squared plus 2 and g of x which is 1 minus x. Now by direct substitution to find the area between f of x and g of x and x equal to 0 and x equal to 1, we'll have the integral of f of x which is x squared plus 2 minus g of x, which is 1 minus x dx from 0 to 1. And by simplifying our function, we'll have x squared plus 2 minus 1 plus x, which is x squared plus x plus 1. Now that we have simplified our integral function, we can integrate x squared plus x plus 1 from 0 to 1 by the usual process that we did on our previous lesson. So the integral of this function is x cubed all over 3 plus x squared all over 2 plus x between, I mean, from 0 to 1. And by using the upper limit minus the lower limit, we'll have 1 third plus 2 plus 1, or 1 third plus 1 half plus 1 minus 0, because this function right here will turn into 0 if you sub plug in the value of 0 in your x's. So we'll end up simplifying the, this term right here and it will give us 11 over 6. Now 11 over 6 is approximately equal to 1.833. Therefore, the area between f of x and g of x from 0 to 1 is 1.833 units squared. Now let's have another example. So in this example, we have to find the area between the graphs of f of x is equal to 5 minus x squared and g of x equal to x minus 1 from negative 2 to 1. So this is our first function, f of x, which is a parabola opening downwards. And then our linear function, g of x, which is given by this graph. To find the area between the two curves, we will use the formula for area between the two curves. So we have f of x minus g of x dx from negative 2 to 1. And f of x is 5 minus x squared and g of x is x minus 1, so minus g of x is negative x plus 1. By simplifying the function, we need to integrate negative x squared minus x plus 6 from negative 2 to 1, which gives us negative x cubed all over 3 minus x squared all over 2 plus 6x from 1 to negative 2, or from negative 2 to 1. Now by evaluating, we'll have 16.5 as our area under the curve, and that is the area between f of x and g of x for this particular example.